Hello guys, in this video I will show you on how to create a database in MariaDB using PHP MyAdmin. Okay, so let us first click the new in the menu. Then let's say the name of our database is DB Attendance. Then click the create button. And then next is you're going to create a table. So for example, the name of the table is TBL student. And let's say there are five columns. Then click the go button. So we have the fields here. So we're going to fill up all the information so let's say the first field is id and the data type is int then the length for example is 11 and then we will set this into auto increment since this will serve our primary key and then set as primary or this will be our primary key and next is for example last name and the data type will be varkar and then let's say the length of the last name is 30 and then okay so everything is fine next is first name then again we'll set that into varkar then 30 okay so that's complete another is the middle name varkar then 30 and the last column will be sex and then in here we'll be using the enum data type so just click on the edit num or set values then for example that is male then female or you can use the the initials m or f or you can complete that by typing male or female so it's up to you on how you're going to set the values Okay, then go. So you can set the default. Uh, so you can set the default value. So for example, on that school, there are more male than female. So you can set as the default value male. So the default value is, for example, as defined. So you can set as null or as defined if you set it into as defined you can type mail okay and then if you are done just click the save button then let's check here oh as you can see the default value is mail then if you want to add more columns you can add at the bottom here so for example how many columns you are going to add for example one so where you are going to put the additional column so for example after sex or middle name first name last name so let's say after sex then go then for example we'll be using the address so the data type we're using is the text data type and then the, the length of text is zero by default then are you going to allow null so let's say we'll make this optional so if you click the allow null that means the address will be set to null it will be an option optional then say 
then let's try to check the structure again by clicking the structure tab okay so the address field was successfully added so you can try that by clicking the browse so there there are no records so that's it thank you for watching see you on our next video which is the ddl and dml topics